Welcome to Channel Today in History, in today's video we will talk about the day, November 26, 1922, Discovery of the Tomb of Tutankhamun. One of the most important discoveries in modern archaeology occurred on November 26, 1922, when the almost intact tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun, from the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt, was found. In the early 20th century, Egypt was a very popular country with travelers and a vacation spot for wealthy people. Among the regular visitors was the Englishman George Herbert, Count of Carnarvon, who spent several winters in the country recovering from a serious car accident. Until then, he had been dedicated to collecting antiquities, but he bought a concession to dig in Thebes in 1907 and realized he would need an advisor. He was introduced to Howard Carter, an eminent Egyptologist, self-taught and excellent draftsman, and invited him to join the enterprise. Carter explained to Herbert his theory that the tombs of 18th dynasty pharaohs were clustered in the Valley of the Kings, and Herbert agreed to begin excavations. The concession's owner was Theodore Davis, a wealthy American, who claimed to have found clues to the tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun, who died at age 18. At that time, it was believed that the young pharaoh had probably died of tuberculosis 3,300 years earlier. All tombs found so far had been ransacked by tomb robbers. Carter happened to find some stairs under the entrance to the tomb of Pharaoh Ramses IV. No one knew where they were going, but some signs piqued the Egyptologists' curiosity. After excavating with extreme care, they came to a sort of reduced chamber. On its front, it presented a series of intact seals, which indicated that no one had penetrated that place until then. They found themselves in front of a royal tomb. On November 26, 1922, they broke the royal seals that had been intact for over 3,000 years and gained access to the tomb. The work took 10 years to complete. Thanks to Carter's extremely methodical character, each of the 4,000 objects in the tomb was photographed in situ and recorded before being removed. It took two months to empty the antechamber. All the carriages, beds, thrones, and boxes had been haphazardly piled up by the official gravediggers when they resealed the tomb. Carter refused to enter the burial chamber until he had studied, restored, and sent all the objects in the antechamber to Cairo. After the unexpected death of Lord Carnarvon, it was rumored that whoever entered Tutankhamun's tomb would be the victim of a curse. The newspapers of the time gave a lot of echo to this idea, and Carter himself had to defend against it with scientific arguments. However, it is true that in the years following the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb there were some surprising deaths among members of the expedition but it is likely that these were due to the high concentrations of spores of the fungus Aspergillus flavus that were found in the tomb. Did you like the video? In the description you will find the blog link with the full article, give an incentive by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting and sharing with your friends, hugs. Until the next.